Someone once asked me, why do I do food rescue? Is it because I want the food due to money matters? It was never the case. Food waste is a big problem in Singapore. Food, fresh produce especially, is prone to damage. So there are bound to be losses along the supply chain due to packing and transportation. But it also happens because we as consumers are picky about what we buy. We don't want ugly food or we over-order and hoard. Then throw them away when we can't finish. I got to know about food rescuing through my sister. And my first mission, I was surprised at how much food is being wasted. Some is just odd shape, different colour. Some that are too small to go on into the market. Some that's too big. And it's just a waste. They look perfectly fine to eat. For FRC, we rescue from distributors at Pasir Panjang Wholesale Centre. However, other groups like D2L rescue food directly from supermarkets or grocers. I rescue food uh, at least twice a week with D2L. The items that I'm rescuing is more on uh, bakeries and uh, vegetables. I will come to the store when it's near their closing timing. Uh, the staff will actually put their items aside for us. After I rescue the food, I will post the rescue food onto a community sharing platform called Goodhood and then uh, the user will actually text me and then arrange to pick up from me. At the very beginning of the business, when we wanted to build a grocer, we were pretty concerned about the perishables that we'll incur. In our grocer, we take food waste very seriously. We track almost every single item that we put on the shelf. They either get to go to a food rescuing team, uh, go to the bar to make into a smoothie or juice, or they go proceeds into the kitchen to make into some parts of our meal and our menu. When we first started, we actually generate about 70 kg of food waste per week. But the last we actually spoke to Tsing Hui from D2L, we realised that we have uh, largely dropped to about 30 kg. So after I bring back the rescue food, I will have to sort them out, um, take away all the yellow layer or some mushy parts, and I will prepare them for dinner for my family. Uh, most of the time, they wouldn't know it's rescue food because it's exactly the same as what you get from supermarket. But then I told them, not all rescue food are edible. So if we have to teach them to use their sight, their smell. Start small by just asking your neighbours if they need any food that of your excess. If you want to be active and give back to society, you can just join any of the organisation that is doing food rescues. Actually, there is a lot of food being thrown out in Singapore. So if everyone can help to do their part, we can actually reduce a lot of food wastage.